This is Donna. This is going to be a quick overview and tutorial on the Falcon 360 high definition dual dash camera. Here's a screenshot of the product information in case you do like this. It comes with clamps to install in your car. Basically there's the picture. It just clamps on over your existing rear view mirror and then the power cable runs from the device into a um, 12 volt socket. Now we have the contents, the actual dash cam itself. Like I said, it goes over your rear view mirror. It replaces your existing mirror. You don't lose a mirror. This is an actual replacement and when you're using the camera, the LCD panel just appears like right in here. Okay, and the control buttons are up, menu or record, on and off, mode, and down. And I'll show you how to use all of them in a minute. Again, this is your front facing camera, your rear facing camera. On the side is your HDMI port and your SD slot. USB cable goes here. That's so you can access the videos from your computer. There's your 5 volt power port. And then there's a reset there. Take a look at the back to put it on top of your existing rear view mirror. The top two are on springs. So you put it on the top and you would pull down to expand these. It comes with a micro HC SD card which fits into an adapter. Just put that in there. And then put it in the slot here. Have it upside down. You have to actually use your nail to get it to click. It's not that easy. And then you have your power connector. It comes with a 10 foot cable that plugs into your power connector, which goes to a cigarette lighter. 10 foot cable. It's pretty mangled because I was experimenting with it earlier. A little um, barrel plug. Now, for the Volt, I'm going to have to buy a right angle adapter. And I took a micrometer and it looks like the barrel is, I'm not sure if you can see that, three millimeters wide and the stem is eight millimeters long. And I took a multimeter. The inside is positive and the external of the barrel is negative. That might be helpful to, um, I do plan to email the manufacturer to make sure I'm going to order the right part. It also comes with sort of an old school cable, the standard USB to the um, smaller USB cable. A little bit of a chunkier one like the old cell phones used to have. I guess they're still using them for cameras. It also comes with a pack of dash clips. Little clips to clip your power cable to your dashboard. There's little sticky pads. I'm going to power it up and show you how to use the menu options. Note that this model came with a 16 gigabyte SD card. I do know it's available with a 32 gigabyte SD card. We're going to turn it on and show you some basic menu settings. It comes on when you plug it in or if it's already plugged in when you press the on and off button. It comes up recording. See the red flashing light? That means it's recording. The red light means, the solid tiny red light over here means it's charging. If I unplug it, it does stay on. There is a built-in battery, but I don't believe it's meant to run on that 
all the time. To stop recording, see the menu slash REC. This button is used to access the menu and it's also used to start and stop recording. So if I press it, I'm no longer recording. Now, to access the menu, we, instead of just pressing it, to access the menu, you long press the menu button. And the menu comes up, but note that it's in the video camera mode. So here's where you change all your video camera settings. To go up and down through the menu options, you press up and down. To select one, you press menu. And then you go up and down. To go back out, you press menu. So you can go down, menu to select, I want my loop recording, I want it to loop every 10 minutes, menu to select, if I go back in, it's 10 minutes, audio recording, menu to select, I don't want to record my audio so I'm going to leave that as it is. So menu to select and exit. Basically once you're in the option, menu is to select and exit. Okay, the video mode, the A and B is just A and B. So I want to record both. I want to go over to device settings. You see how now I'm in video camera settings? So to switch over to device settings, I need to go over to the little icon of the wrench. So I'm going to long press again. There. Now I'm in the actual camera settings, not just the video recorder settings. I'm going to go down to date and time. Remember to select this menu. Up and down is to change a field. To move to the, to the next field within the same menu option or submenu, Press mode. Mode. Again, mode to go to the next field. Then change it up and down. Mode to the next field. Up and down to change. Mode to the next field. You get the idea. Okay. Menus to um, also to exit. Auto power off. Oops, sorry. Um, I think two minutes is good if I run into Walmart and I leave it on. So I'm just going to hit menu to select and exit. Beep sound. Menu to select. Um, I don't think I need that. It's pretty, well, I'll leave it on now, but I'm going to go back and turn that off later. So right now, I'll hit menu to select and exit. Language. Remember, I'm using up and down to go through the menu options. I'm using menu to select. I'm going to leave it on English, but if I want it Deutsch, I could just go down and select it. Back up to English. Menu to select and exit. Frequency to Hertz. I'm going to leave that. That's to format your SD card. Default setting. This will, this will set all your device settings back to the default. I'm going to hit Menu to select it. To select cancel. Lights up. Menu to select. Day mode and night mode. I'm going to leave it on day mode. If I, I guess if you drive a lot at night, you would leave it on night mode. Menu to select and exit. Anything else? Date stamp. Menu to select. I'm going to leave it on. Screen saver. Hmm. Screensaver. I'll leave it as the default. So menu just to select and exit. Version is just a version. That's basically it. Now if I hold and press menu again, I'm back just to the camera mode. This is my A and my B cameras.
So again, long press the menu, get you into the video camera settings, and there's quite a few. You can go down and go into each one. So long press to get into the video recording settings, long press again to get into the device settings. Long press again, get you back. We're going to take a look at some general navigation. We're in video camera mode. The mode button cycles through video camera, regular camera, photo gallery, video gallery, and back to video. So we're in video, camera, photo gallery. It says I'm a 9 of 9 video gallery, back to video. Now note while in video, the record button starts and stops recording. Now let's switch the mode. We'll go to camera. Now the record button doesn't record because we're in camera mode. It takes a photo. Nice. The next mode button will get us to our photo gallery. See how I'm on an 11 of 11? If I scroll down, I'll go to 1 of 11. Now, to select a picture, to open it, short menu press. To delete it, or to look at your options, long menu press. Go down and delete. Delete current, yes and you have to confirm, scroll down, down the, the scroll of course and to select the short menu. Please wait. To get out of here, it's a little quirky. Long menu and mode. So it's a little quirky to exit out. So I have 10. Let's open this one. Long press to get to the options. Say you, did, you got here by accident long menu press and then mode get you back. So it's a little strange. Just show that one more time. So I open an option long menu press to see what you can do. So you got here by accident long menu press and mode to get out. So long menu press and the mode button seems to exit out. So I'm in the video gallery. The next, of course, will take me to my, sorry, that was the photo gallery. Now I'm in the video gallery. Same situation here. Short menu opens. Long menu press gives me some options. Scroll down and select it with menu. Or again, if I've gotten here by accident, long menu press mode to exit. Now let's open it up. Up and down scrolls through them. Let's select it by pressing menu. Actually plays. The video I took, I think I was in my driveway. Pause, play, pause. Pretty nice. This goes to the next video. Mode should get out. So make sure you understand mode scrolls you through. You're in video thumbnails, video mode, camera. photo gallery, video gallery. Back to video, camera, take a photo. Pretty neat. Okay, we're going to switch between night vision and regular day vision for the camera. So while the camera's in standby mode, that means on but not recording, long press the mode button and the little sun switch to 
a little icon of a star and the moon. So again, long press mode, switch back to daylight, long press mode, switches to night vision, day vision, night vision. So again, that was while it's in standby mode, not while you're recording. To switch between your cameras, short press, see how we're using camera A and B, camera A and B? To switch between them, short press the on and off button. Now I'm only in A. It's blurry because I'm pointing to my table. Press it again, it just toggles through. Now I'm in B. Note that you can change the angle of your cameras. Okay? This one dials out, and this one will also dial. Just note that. Okay? So, short press of the on and off button. It has to be very short, or of course you'll turn it off. So I'm in A and B mode, A mode, B mode. Now to zoom in and out in standby mode or while recording, let's go ahead and switch just to B mode so you can see this a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in and out. Basically the up button zooms in, the down button zooms out. So up button zooms in, down button zooms out. Zoom in, zoom out. Very nice. So that should get you started. Next I'm going to show you how to connect it to your mirror and we're going to just record around the block and then get the video onto our computer. Okay, take a look at the back. These are spring-loaded. The top ones are spring-loaded. Okay, and now I'm going to put it on the top and then pull down to get it to fit. So let me um, work on that for a minute. All right, I have it on my rear view mirror and it fits great, but this adapter here the jacket of the power cable, I'm going to have to like get an L adapter because you see it's, yeah, it's just not a really good fit, but it'll work for now for this video. So I'm going to start recording. My light's flashing there even though you can't see it. So I'm going to go around the block and then I'll plug in the adapter from the device from the camera to my laptop and we'll see what we get. I plugged the mini USB cable in to the top of the camera. Now I'm going to plug the other end into my computer. This is Windows 10, so hopefully it will detect it and add it just like a regular camera. Oh, it comes up and asks you, mass storage, or do you want to use it as a camera? I'm going to press the menu button once to select it as mass storage. Okay. And there it is. I'm going to open it. Go to the DCIM folder. Seems like it has an Android OS on it because that's normally the Android folder. Okay. I'm going to try playing the last one created. I think you can actually play it on the actual device, but it would be awful small. You wouldn't really be able to see anything. And there I am, driving down the street. I do see a glare. My window wasn't the cleanest, and it was an extremely sunny day. You know, um, if you're really worried about a rear view camera, you may want to buy a dedicated unit for that, because, um, I mean, it's pretty good. You'll be, definitely be able to see if someone rear ends you, but as far as reading license plates, it all depends on your car. This is a Chevy Volt and the back window has a severe slant to it. So you'd have to just base it on your car. And I would recommend you buy the product on Amazon because they have a really good return policy. They usually don't give you any grief as long as you pack it up like new.
Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and pause it. That should get you started with this device. It's pretty nice. I hope that's helpful.